There are two kinds of people in this world, people who believe in the Oxford comma and lawless anarchists. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're not completely horrible people. But believe it or not, many people care a lot about the Oxford comma. What could possibly be so important about such a little thing? A comma. Oh, it can make a big difference in your writing. The Oxford comma, also known as a Harvard comma, or the serial comma, is used when you're listing three or more things in a sentence. It might be a list of nouns or verbs, any kind of list really. For example, today in the garden, I weeded the flower beds, added mulch to the vegetables, and watered everything. That last comma in the sentence before the and is the Oxford comma. Do we really need that last comma? Let's take it out and see. Today in the garden, I weeded the flower beds, added mulch to the vegetables, and watered everything. Nothing much seems to have changed, other than that comma would tell me to pause for a fraction of a second. Does that mean we don't need the Oxford comma? Not so fast. What about in this sentence? My favorite people in the world are my parents, Meryl Streep and Ringo Starr. What happens to this sentence if we leave out the Oxford comma? My favorite people in the world are my parents, Meryl Streep and Ringo Starr. Wow. <laughs> I suddenly come from entertainment royalty. There you have it. Do you need the Oxford comma? Yes. Sometimes. If you find our series on English grammar helpful, share it with someone you care about. And if you feel very strongly about how wonderful Socratica is, we hope you'll consider becoming our patron on Patreon. You could really make a difference. You'll be helping us make more of the high quality educational videos you know and love. Thank you.